Welcome back, everyone. Helping you tell your powerful, positive, and inspirational family stories. That's what Doug Jessup does on FamilyHeritageStories.com, and he's joining us now in the sponsored interview. It's a very special show where you talk with very special people with unique stories. This time is no different. No, it isn't. You know, I've been doing Jessup's Journal for a lot of years, and that's my Sunday show. But my wife kind of told me, you know, not everybody wants to be on TV, so that's why I started doing these private in-studio interviews. Well, recently, one of my viewers called up and said, my husband is a veteran, and he's got some guys coming in to do a reunion. And so is there a way that we could get these guys all to be interviewed. And I'm going, oh yeah, heck yeah. And so veterans always have some very, very interesting stories. And guys are a member of the 159th Dust Off. So have you ever heard of Life Flight? Oh yeah. Okay, you know those kind of things? Well, Life Flight was actually kind of designed after what these guys did. And so, you know, and yeah, we had some fun with the hats, okay? I, I'm the hat guy. Because you're so. the hat guy. Yeah, you and you've some got fun. a few hats. Yeah, so, but it, he, there is a, a great little sound bite from Randy Milliken. He is one of the medics that is with this group. So let's, let's hear Randy describe what they do. The 159th Dust Off is a, uh, was a unit of the U.S. Army that served in Vietnam. And our primary mission was to rescue the wounded, most often under fire. And uh, we were unarmed, had no uh, weapons at all. And we rescued American, Vietnamese, Vietnamese civilians, enemy forces, Philippines, whoever called, we, we went to their aid. What's nuts about that is, I don't know if you caught that, these guys had no guns on their helicopter. They, in fact, took that off to see, to feel more unthreatened, like they didn't want to be a threat. Well, they, they want to get more patience in there, is the big thing. And the, the crazy part is every single one of these six guys, every single one did over 1,000 missions and saved over 3,000 lives. Wow. And you start putting that out and out. And so to me, stories, everyone has a story. And stories are very, very important to save. And so with veterans, it's a whole different group. And the thing that I want to make sure is that these people are remembered. Um, a poignant part that I did not know when I was doing the interview is that every single one of these guys have cancer because of Agent Orange. One of the people, he says, I'm not going to be here for the next reunion. These stories need to be saved. And so I would invite people to come and do family heritage stories. It, it works pretty simple. I've got a TV studio, you know? So come on in. We'll sit down for an hour. We're just going to chat. We're going to take out the bloopers. We're going to add in your pictures, and we're going to give you a digital copy to just, you know, have that some fun with. That keepsake is priceless, Doug. Yeah. And. I'm so glad that you're telling these stories because so many of them are lost. Yes. So many. And we recently celebrated Veterans Day, and this means a lot this month. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad to be able to help serve the people that have served our country as well. So. Thank you for shining a light on these stories. You betcha. All right. Thank you, Doug. And you can watch Doug every Sunday at what time? At 10 o'clock in the morning. On our okay. show, right on, on our station. Forward. And that number there on your screen, if you have a story or a family heritage story to tell. Doug, thank you so much. And thank you to Jessup's Journal for the sponsored interview.